You know how is you know it's a flashback because it's in uh, sepia tone. Yep. At least partially, anyway. Yeah, it goes back to the old, kind of like the old school days thing where it's like gray, black, and white almost. I mean, I, I'm glad there's still color in this. Obviously, it's just a little bit like there's a filter yeah. over the top of it, which I don't mind. Obviously, if it had been in black yeah. or something, that'd have been a bit more annoying. But yep, the cyan. So let's see here. What is? Mm, I take that. Where I had the bronze piece, but fucking I couldn't get that later. Huh? Sands of the Seventh Dawn. Yep. That's <coughs> Excuse me. Ooh, we're settings. Go to the Waking Sands in Vesper Bay. Uh, as soon as I'm done with this, uh, will you send me a party qu um, request? Oh, sure. Let me know when you're done. So I assume that I'll be able to party up as soon as the uh, the flashbacks finished, or at least the cutscenes finished, anyway. I see. I'm just checks here. Uh, it doesn't really make much. Well, defense slightly. I might as well equip it. That's right, once I get to level 52, I can accept in this samurai job thing. Probably do well for that, but... God, I wish these two would stop being so fucking emo. And they'll start singing in the middle of When I was a young boy, my father. Now, what do you say the next uh, quest is? The next quest is the science of Seventh Dawn. Ah. So we'll actually basically be going to meet literally the whole group in Vesper Bay then. Oh, fair enough. Because the first thing in there is go to Waking Sands and Vesper Bay. We'll have to go back to Horizon and then take the path west from there, as I mentioned. Yeah, I'll just follow you, buddy. Yeah. And actually, this quest is at level 17. I think the Grand Company quests are at level 20, so we're still three off from that. I'm still at least uh, able to do them, so... Yeah. And the obnoxious merchant has been a fucking coward now. <laughs> And he runs away. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Oh, it's right. I got this already because of my getting that job pack for the monk class. All right, I've apparently entered the sanctuary. More cutscene. Okay. Wonderful. Ever the selfless hero, I see. Yep. 
That would be a oh, familiar place. it's Kitty Cat. Yep. yep. Ishtola, yep. Pretty much whenever Cyan or Cyan's you meet at the early part of your journey will show up here. Hmm. It's Yishtola for us as we started in Lima Mumiz out. If it was Udal, we would have seen Thancred. If it was Gridania, it would have been uh, Yida and Limo. You know, I'd actually like to see like some of these like species and uh, races actually in a fully-fledged Final Fantasy game. I don't mean an MMO, I mean yeah. an actual Final Fantasy game. 16, make it happen. Yeah. <laughs> if it ever actually comes out. Yeah. How long did we wait for 15? Yep. God, that game's still so fucking depressing. And not for the good reasons either. Yeah. Uh... Such a long wait and then fall off in the second half of the fucking game. Yeah, let's get this fixed up here. Yeah, why not fix that up? Actually, is there a shop in here? No. Probably go one later. Can't stop looking at the chocolate hoodie. <laughs> Alright, back in the game, finally. Okay. I just need to go and uh, speak with Namaldi. I will send an invite then. Alright, got it. Okay. Yeah, it's got me as a leader, so if we do another dungeon again, I'll have to set it up. That's fine. Uh, as you can tell which one's the leader, there's like a Looks like almost like a square in front of another square next to that person's uh, thing there. I'll we'll probably that, go huh? another like 25 minutes and then I'll have to take a quick break. Okay. Maybe 20 minutes. I need to go to the toilet again. And I'm now speaking with Ida? Ida? Edda? Oh yeah, I think there's a little bit of dialogue with her in that. I like your hat. That's one cool hat. <laughs>
And apologies if there's not much conversation going here, guys. Um, yeah. We're just waiting for the cutscene to finish playing out. Yep. You watching baseball in the background? I had it on briefly while I was waiting. <coughs> Mm. I've still got the World Actually, Cup in the thing. background, so. Yeah. Good thing there was that much going on. I turned the volume right away. Oh shit, I gotta turn the volume down. I've got it on mute on my end anyway. Yeah. Okay. Not just so I wouldn't pick anything up on the record. Mm -hmm. I think I've, I've never actually caught anything like television wise yeah. on the recording before. Yeah. That is a sure well, fire sign. I think fucking... the volume was like. 26, I hear it pretty well even with my headset on. Uh, yeah, I better turn that down. Uh, she's telling me about the Scions now, anyway, so. Yeah. It should be close to being done with that cutscene. Right, I'm just about to pick a uh, item. Um, yeah, I'll take the rope belt. Yeah, I think I actually took the leather belt. Slightly better I defense. couldn't because I don't think it's the right thing for me. Exactly. Yeah, it probably isn't because I think it was a discipline of war with disciple of war, which you're not one of the classes. Mm -hmm. so I'm just gonna switch the belt. thing here. Yeah, that's much better. All right, so I'm gonna go and get the next mission now: the Signs of the Seventh Dawn. Yep. I yeah. think I'll be very close to complete. Um, I'm actually going to level up as soon as we finish this as well, by the way. Ooh. Is this another dungeon, by the way? Uh, this one, no. The place they're going to is basically a little town. Oh, okay. Unfortunately. Unfortunately, one that does not have an A3, so this is gonna go on foot. Uh, we get close. Call you. Yeah. Well, that's why I mentioned I had you go get that Horizon Crystal too before, because that's where Dark from the gold there. Okay, fair enough. We'll be doing that quite a bit as long as you. If you want to teleport there, dude, I should be able to join you in a moment. Okay. Yeah, I'll do that right now. Because the, the request will stay on long enough for me to do it anyway. Yeah, teleport off her horizon. I'll take it in a moment once I'm done with this. Alright, quest offer. Yes, I will take the offer for the teleportation. Teleportation, yeah! Let's give it up. Alright, where are you? Oh, there you are. Yep, right here, that shoppy. Right. Been here I'm ready to follow you, buddy. Alright. Let's and do the sprint this. thing then. Yep. That's right, that music I like in this region is playing right now. Oh, this is good music. I think it's been yeah, good music it throughout the entire game, so. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I really wish you could uh, upgrade your sprint, though. The fact yeah, you only get it for twenty nice. seconds. No, the fact you only get it for like fifteen, twenty seconds is ridiculous. Yeah. Still right behind you. Okay. It's not so much the fact you got to do this once; it's the fact you got to do it repeatedly in this game just to get to that place. And to be fair, so far it hasn't been that far of a distance. Yeah. This is thing? when you gotta do it multiple times and it just seems to be like, okay, this is kind of a waste. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> Thankfully, when we, once we get those mods, you can come here faster. I can't believe there's oh, a uh, thingy point here, though. Yeah, ex that's just... Still... Yeah. And we gotta go in this building yeah, here. Yeah, I as much. Oh, actually, she's right there, Tatru. After that, we're done. We'll probably have to go downstairs then. 
Deep in the depths of my heart, a lonely flower blooms. His name is Oak Pie Man 100. <laughs> <laughs> Well, speaking of which, may actually be coming in a little bit later. Okay. He did say he wanted to watch the um, the Super Metro race because SDGQ is currently going on at the time. Oh of the yeah. I missed out on the Zero Mission race just as I watched while we took the break earlier. It was right mm. at the end, like they were just finishing. Okay. That is one low polygon book. Yep. Yeah, I just went downstairs into the uh, waking sands. I'll uh, come join you, obviously, when I'm done with the cutscene. See, I don't need either one of these. Oh, wait. Yeah, actually, I probably could take one. You know what? I'm taking a several piece of set piss on it. Beg your pardon? Elegant silver piece. It's one of those things you can sell for kill in this game. Um, uh, Enter the Waking Sands. Yes, please. Yep. Minfilia. <laughs> This guy. And we got the whole Scions of the Seventh Dawn character. That's right, Uriger is one of them too. Okay, my dear, I can see your bosom. Nice. Uh, did you just enter the room where you're talking to them all? Or? Well, I'm talking to one of the uh, guards outside. Okay. Yeah, that will take uh... you in the... That would probably be best for me. Right, I've got to cut some of a, like a bunch of them. For, oh, of actual dialogue. Yep. I'll stay quiet. Yep. Well met, friend. My name is Minfilia, and I lead the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. I have awaited your coming. Please, be at ease. You are among friends here. No doubt you are ripe to burst with questions. But have patience. All will be revealed in time. Uh, since she's not speaking this second, um, I apologize for like, this little black screen that pops up every so often. It only happens in cutscenes. I don't know why it does it. It's only dialogue cutscenes as well, more often than not. Uh, I can't really do anything about it, so hopefully you guys can put up with it. First, let me begin by telling you who we are and what we do. We are the Scions of the Seventh Dawn, an order that transcends political boundaries. Our single objective is the preservation of the future of Eorzea. Among our gravest concerns, uh, no pies in here. Oh, hey, dude. Sorry, just in the middle of a cutscene. Cutscene? Hey, listen here. Dude, damn, not even. Not dead. That was quick. <laughs> that was fast. Our order is home to a number of individuals who, like you, possess a rare and special. Yeah, thanks talent. a lot, Phillies. Thanks a lot. Uh, thanks a lot. This talent takes various whack. forms, but whack. one holds particular interest for us. Tell me, have you ever experienced a sudden, inexplicable loss of consciousness? Sorry, Opa, we'll talk in a minute. It's just it's not often you get like actual voice dialogue in these games, so when you can't, we're trying to go quiet. Yeah. 
Have you ever had the sensation of being pulled away from reality? Felt as though you were hovering in space. A mind without a Suddenly, body. Suddenly, loud music in the background. <laughs> and that's why he gets booted from the call. <laughs> All these things Ooh, can I retain her? Ooh, piece of candy. Yours is the <laughs> boundaries of the soul. Oh, a power known yeah, if we did have that little line, I did bring back that little line during the, the thing. Echo allows you to pass through the walls of a man's soul. <laughs> And hear the resonation. You try and shush me all your weapons. <laughs> that ain't me, dude. That was old pie. I know it was. <laughs> Don't tell him that. He saw them. You may even Sorry, dude, but I saw your thing go off. Same. You cannot so change you gotta bust it. <laughs> For another blessing, okay. Echo will enable you to know a man Next quest of wild rules by any other name. His words. See the Grand echo is a truly extraordinary power, and this king. power is strong within you. It is only a shame that we cannot use it whensoever we choose. That's right. I too possess the echo. With that established, let us return to the subject of the primals. So long as they exist. The realm cannot take so much as a single step towards true peace. God, she won't shut up. Measures must be taken. Measures which transcend boundaries, be they of faction, race, language, or creed. And to do so, the Scions require the aid of those with our talent. Make no mistake, the Echo will be instrumental in dealing with the primal threat. Without it, we cannot hope to save the realm. I know not what it is you desire for yourself, nor what it was that first brought you to Eorzea. But I firmly believe that the power we possess was given to us for a purpose. Why else would the gods entrust man with a gift so extraordinary, if not to have him use it? And so I implore you, lend us your power. Is she gonna shop now? Oh no, she's still talking. Oh, it's not actually dial voice dialogue now, so we can talk. Awesome. Oh, fuck. Got a nice booby shot just before you came in, actually. Oh, god damn it. Oh, did you watch the Super Metroid race? It hasn't, it hasn't started yet. Oh, what time does it start? In about, I'm thinking about another hour. Oh, fair enough. Might watch some of it. Yeah, there'll be more voice acting dialogue coming up here, just to let you know. Oh, uh, sh shortly, you mean? Yeah. Well, if it's like in the next, like, uh, cutscene or something when I actually uh, start it, I'll obviously let it play out, but. If I it's can... actually part of the next quest, so if you want to stop before then. Yeah, I was going to stop anyway because I need to go to the toilet, but uh, I'll let this okay. one play out first. Okay. Still loving the rocking, uh, the chocolate hoodie I'm rocking right now. <laughs> you got a chocolate hood? Yep. I had a black one, but uh, this one's better light with stats, so. Well, the black one was cool. It reminded me, like, of the Nazgul from Lord of the Rings, so... Okay. Well, I'm done with that, and I speak with Thancred. So, apparently, Opie, my wrestling wife who turned heel the other night. Oh, yes! <laughs> Fuck yeah! God damn it, Bailey, why? Why? No, why not? I like that. I, I don't know. It's just she could easily have been the female John Cena and not have to turn heel. They just fucked her up so badly since they they got her to the uh, the main roster. It's a push. Yeah, I suppose you're right there. <clears throat> Instead of wacky waiting inflatable arm waving two men, she now has I don't know giant dildos dildos or something. 
Well, the, actually, how would you even repackage Bailey? Like, appearance wise, I mean. I'd like to repackage her, unwrap her, and hands off. Her again. Hands off. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen here. <laughs> Just repackage, repackage her, unwrap her, repackage her again, unwrap her again. No, you can have Mae Young. It's like, it's like a fucking yo yo. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the quest is complete. Okay. And I got seven thousand two hundred. Yeah, I'm like less than uh, sorry, just over four thousand away now. So I'm gonna pause it right here, and we'll be back as soon as I am done with my shit. Okay.